Okay, so this is the epitome of the like I said, like I said, like I the, the actually want to quote, quote a good friendly Jordy quote here. Okay, you have the SJW cucks and the uh, and the uh, you know like the 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 MAGA guys you know in the U.S. And again, because no, because the media divides people and wants to make people think that's what being trans is. No, like it's not actually. Uh, gender dysphoria is a the reason why it's called male to female is not because they're transitioning from a x a y to a x x that's not what's happening here okay you're going from male secondary sex characteristics to ones that would match a female right that's all it is male to female male secondary sex character sex characteristics Two female secondary sex characteristics. Okay, can we... Like, now that we can move on from that question, why the fuck do you feel the need to try and act like a morally righteous douchebag? I'm sorry. Like, this has... Like, you cannot tell me this man is not acting in the same way Cam Tyson does to Friendly Jories. Okay? It is absolutely absurd. You know... Given the aesthetic, he even has the, the, you know, the fucking, I don't even know what it's called, the blazer, the plaid blazer. Come on, this guy is a dork, anyways, but not a smart one, just, just an annoying one. But anyways, we're going to continue with this. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, I, I can't really answer that. I don't care if you think you're a sheepdog and you come into my store, it don't matter to me. Just don't come in and try to shove that shit down my throat. If it makes someone feel better, what about their, their feelings? I, mean, I don't give a shit about their feelings. I'm old. What about a Star Wars universe? Jar Jar Binks? Pansexual, do you think? Transgender? Um, why, would I, why would I even care? It's, if it's his truth. Well, it ain't true. You're not a scientist. You're not a gender studies major. Or are you? No. Oh, okay. How do you know that you're a man? How do I know that I'm a, I guess because I got a dick. Yeah, and by the way, I want you to look at this tactic. Ready? He goes to somebody random on in a store to do this, okay? Some random guy in a store is is he's asking these questions to. Like, seriously. Look, here's the thing. The problem with the, well, I guess, not like the ex, like, the experts, not professors, like, people, because he's not talking to anyone who actually does actual work in labs, right? What a lot of, when a lot of these people say, well, the experts are clearly wrong, they're clearly talking about just, like, college professors a lot of the time. They're not actually looking at that. And even if they are saying the experts are wrong, they will cherry pick because a majority of experts will say, no, you, you, you're actually a numb nuts, dude. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And the ones that usually do disagree are either A, funded by the, uh, the, like, the news establishment, right? Like these companies. In the same way, it's like your um, bottle of shampoo if, from the Dollar Tree. You may say like, oh, this has 40% more soap. It's, yeah, sure, okay. If you do a control study, there probably is a scientist that will say that, because not because they're actually being legitimate, because they're bought and paid for, right? So, again, talk to, again, talk to an expert on this, and don't just talk to professors, my guy. I'm sorry, you know, using, uh, using people who are basically driven by ideology to prove another ideology right is just be looking like a clusterfuck of just pure stupid ideology. Anyways, we're we're gonna continue. So so what? What is a woman? Why do you ask that question? I just really like to know. What do you think the answer to that question is? Well. I'm, I'm asking. That's why I came to a college professor who, who's, this is your, this is what you do. What other kinds of answers have you gotten? A 
lot of like this where you're where you're not answering. I've got a lot of that. So I think it's interesting that you that you say that some of the people you've you've um, interviewed have been um, reluctant to answer it, and I think that has a lot to do with the way the questions that preceded it and the the way that you've conducted yourself in the interview. How have I conducted myself? How do you think you've conducted yourself? You, you, <laughs> you just really don't want to answer the questions, do you? I, I came today very willing and, and enthusiastic about answering questions about women's and gender sexuality studies, which is so what you wanted, I do. You, you wanted to answer questions about women's studies, and so shouldn't the, the first answer you should be able to provide is what exactly is a woman? Well, it's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? Uh, as a woman. I but just but what is that? As a woman. Do you know what a circular definition is? I do. It's sort of like what you're doing right now, where a woman is, is a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, because you're seeking what we would call in my field of work an essentialist definition of gender. I think it sounds like you would like me to give you a set of biological or cultural characteristics that are associated with one gender or the other. I'm not seeking any type of definition. I'm just seeking a definition. Yeah, and I gave you one. Again, you know... It, it, you know, we obviously learned, you know, we, we you know, we, we, we got something productive out of that, which is the knowledge to never act, actually watch the entire movie. Honestly, it's funny if you just, if you like seeing two, if you like seeing two girls scream at each other and, yeah, and just argue, it is kind of funny, which that's, you know, that is, I guess, a perk. Uh, yeah, because I've, I've watched it. It's, it's funny, but in, like, the same way, like, ha ha, you're so dysfunctional, you know, kind of funny. But anyways, uh, you know, yeah, I, I mean, look, y y you are literally asking, like I said, a college professor, okay? When you know, I think in the U.S. the numbers are, I'm going to, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Isn't it like a 90 to 10 like ratio of professors that are like the SJW cucks or versus like the MAGA guys in like a 10 to 1 ratio or so something like that, like or, uh, 9 to 1 or something? But anyways, yeah, of course you're going to talk to... Also, too, you, you couldn't have gotten someone who literally does not fit the embodiment, the embodiment of an, like, of an effeminate man who's more driven by emotion, you couldn't got someone who doesn't immediately, you look at the guy and it's like, yep, he's gonna react to Ashley. Like, like you, you literally picked that guy. I mean, you couldn't have made it more obvious you cherry picked that. You know? Like, I don't know how the... And look, if you wanted to come to that, what is a woman uh, movie learning something? I'm telling you right now, you won't. You will not learn anything. It's it's just a giant shit post, but anyways, we're gonna continue. What age can a child first begin to transition into another gender or identify themselves as a gender different from how they were born? Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's research and data that show that um, babies and infants um, understand differences in gender. You know what's funny? I think there actually was a study like that showing like white matter in the brain or something. But uh but um anyways, or gray matter or something that effect. Don't quote me on that, but like like okay. She's not wrong. She's technically not. Like again, even go to someone like Blair White's channel who are like, yeah, they knew right away. Like, as soon as, like, they experience social situations, right? So, she's technically not wrong. That also doesn't mean you can transition a four-year-old. Like, like, I think, again, the question being asked is, like, like, do you not, like, yeah, obviously they do know. Now, a lot of them grow out of that dysphoria right because sometimes your imagination goes wild as a kid but like when it persists into adulthood yeah like again like but you know and and it's not even that like they're supposed to be born a woman it's that they don't like males they don't their uh their brain goes into a funk 
when they have the secondary sex characteristics like the one they were born as. It's it's not that difficult. And I'm going to go over at the end of the video why it's such a dumb topic to go over to. Abled community. These are people who are physically able-bodied but feel like they should be disabled or identify as such. Uh, for example, a man who has two arms but feels like he should have one. If a, if a man in this kind of marginalized community was went to the doctor and said, I want to have my arm cut off, do you think that... That doesn't have anything to do with gender identity. Well, it's uh, so someone's... Someone's self-identity, how someone identifies. That's, so, that's someone who has a, um, a, and I'll accept it as a mental diagnosis, a psychiatric condition. I don't even pretend to know what aptomenophilia is all about, but somehow it's the idea that you, you know, you're fascinated or charmed by having a limb or part of a limb missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say that's, uh, pardon my non-medical language, kooky. You don't see any? You think this is totally irrelevant? Yep. Yeah, see, here's the thing, though. And let me, let me phrase this ahead of time. When I say mental illness, it's not a slur, okay? It's not used to be like, ha-ha, you look at this degenerate person, he's mentally ill. It's like, no, 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 I don't... I, when I say mental illness, I mean literally what your brain is, like, biologically assigned to do in, in certain circumstances, and for some reason, it just doesn't do it a certain way. Like, I think everybody on the planet is mentally ill, including myself. Okay, let's just get that out the way. My whole thing, like, and so when I say this, trans people are mentally ill, technically speaking, right? If your brain is, like, just it doesn't compute with the secondary sex characteristic you're born as like you know like that is mental illness right it's all like everyone is mentally ill me everybody else everybody on the planet right anyone, anyone who says they're not they're, they're they're lying like they're there's like but there's also mental illness to a point of psychiatric care you know, like where it's so, uh, so, uh, what is it? So debilitating that you need psychiatric care, you know, medications, etc. Right? And I think that's where a lot of people get it mixed up. Is, is it debilitating? Yes or no. Right? And that's, you know, uh, where I think medications are appropriate. Right? It's like, because, like, for example, if they have a schizophrenic person who they're not on their meds, sees shit and starts punching the wall, like, obviously, take your meds, dog, you know? Or, like, if you are so bipolar that you and you don't take your meds, you have such big mood swings, it's gonna put other people or yourself at risk. Yeah, it's take your meds, dog, you know? That's what I, you know? But if you're just like, oh, I have a little bit of anxiety and my heart's racing because I have a new job. Like, it's, you know, or, uh, my job is a bit mentally difficult, and so I'm, and when I doze off, I must have ADHD. Like, you know what I mean? It's, like, that kind of a thing, right? So, like, that's where I think, like, no, you just need to learn, kind of, uh, skills to deal with those problems, right? But, but, like, you know, like, I don't understand that portion of that. It's... That's all mental illness. It's just uh, trans people specifically have a uh, ones that go in transition specifically have it to a point where the sec the where that disconnect is uh, so debilitating they they just go get that care right. But I'm gonna bring. I'm also gonna bring up why this argument is so dumb because. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Yeah, so basically, and this I think is for trans and non-binary, right? So you have, um, so you have, uh, total population, I think it's like 5% or something. Um, and again, it's just, you know, it's like, 
at some point, you know, you have to be like, look, there's just a small but vocal population. If you ignore them and you don't talk about shit and you don't like, you know what I mean? Like, but the problem is the media wants you to take a side on this. Why? Because they can drive you emotionally. Because when emotions peak, ratings rise. It's why in 2016, when they were like, Donald Trump dictator, and he was barely in office, they notice how the ratings would rise. Because it's emotionally based. It, like, none of, neither side on this issue is actually logical to any extent. You know? Like, it's, it's crazy to me. Like, and again, also, too, now, they may, now, you may have someone who's never seen a trans person a day in their life and just thinks, because Matt Walsh said this, every single trans person is like that, when in reality, it just, it's nonsensical, you know, and again, like, like I said, it's not here nor there, but why not talk about, like, actual issues, why not talk about uh, how the government is screwing workers, how these corporations like Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, like Link, uh, uh, Lincoln Mutual, Progressive, all these private insurance agencies pretty much have both sides of the news paid off. Don't you think that would be a bigger issue, you hips, you, you fucking lumberjack hipster motherfucker, okay? Like, you... But again, it's because why these people have agendas. They are grifters, okay? If the money, if the, and that's why the media primarily drives the narrative. They drive the talking points. When you have Lincoln Mutual, uh, progressive, J.P. Morgan Chase telling Fox News, hey, uh, why don't you say, say, uh, talk about how trans people are pedophiles? And then, like, you'll have, like, Sean Hannity be like, today and sh- today in Hannity, we're going to be talking about why trans, why, why, why the new transgender movement is going to make, is going to bring more pedophiles to where you live. It's, like, sponsored by a progressive, and uh, Lincoln Mutual, and, you know, and, uh, J.P. Morgan, you, you know. And then you'll go to CNN, and then be seeing, they'll be like, Oh, Sean, Sean Hanley talks about transsexuals being pedophiles, and this is so discriminatory. We stand with the LGBT community. We will not let them be denamed, defamed like this. Like, I swear to God, it's ridiculous. When the actual, like, but that's why, but when they do that, they use incendiary terms like pedophiles, which people universally hate, you, they use words like genocide, which people universally hate. Why? Because they want to drive narratives. They know if you are, oh my god, this genocide, what the... F-? Obviously, they're not gonna... You're, they're gonna get more people tuning in. Like, it baffles me. It really does. You know? Why not, why not bring up the fact that majority of scientists were like... Like, uh, we're very much like, dude, you're taking our vaccine research out of context. Like, what are you talking about? You like, you you have never done this field a day in your life. It's why even when the vaccines rolled out, it's why like countries like New Zealand got people to to zero patients. Like, uh, what you know, like how all like how the Scandinavian countries are able to drive COVID. Like COVID uh, numbers down, COVID cases were really down in a lot of the Scandinavian era. Why? Because their their media is not paid off by private insurance and big banks. That's literally exactly why. Right. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's why the trans argument is so stupid. It's just ma- it's clickbait. Honestly, it's, it's like, fucking click site articles, man. Like, don't fall for this shit. Like, don't, don't give in to these grifters, okay? On the left, on the right, 
Oh my god. Oh, fuck, the left-right cringe happens again! Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, don't, yeah, I, don't get your, don't get your, if you're gonna look at something, look at both sides and try and figure out what neither of them are telling you. Like, 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 especially with the corporate, you know, what I mean both sides, I mean both sides of the, these corporations try and project. Like, because at the end of the day, neither of them are telling the entire truth. Like, neither of them are, right? That's why they'll use terms like pedophiles, genocide, rapist, uh, sexual assaulter, uh, racist, homophobic, transphobic, uh, which, by the way, are all extremely debased terms. Like, honest to God, I could say my door is brown. Oh, racist. Like, it, it's really just, it's really to that extent. Really, I mean, really. And, you know. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then you just find what's in the middle of the two to see what they're not saying, basically. But, yeah, you know, uh, ho hopefully these, uh, these grifters stop grifting soon. I really don't think they will, but that gives me more content that I can make about them. Because, you know, trying to stir the pot here, uh, it, it, you know what I mean? Even though, even though Matt Wall should probably think it's crack. Anyways, uh, yeah. No, no, it was not a racist joke. I swear to God, you, you people. Anyways, let's, yeah, that's, that's, uh, let's get a subscribe button, like the video, all the notifications on if you like it. But yeah, I'm out. Pew, boom.